Hey, it's Carmen from Bad Alibi. Have you heard of Anchor? You know it's the easiest way to make a podcast. I mean, it's free. They have creation tools that allow you to record and edit right from your phone or computer. And it distributes your podcast for you. So it can be heard on Spotify, Apple, and really wherever you listen to podcasts. It's everything you need to make one in one place. Just download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. This is the Bad Alibi Podcast and I am Carmen Norris. Season one of the Bad Alibi Podcast is titled Unsent Letters. Each episode will contain a different character's unsent letter. You are about to hear season one, episode three, Dear Harmony. Rise and shine, or as we say in the biz, caffeinate and decapitate. (sighs) That was the last joke I made to you. I mean, it wasn't a total joke. Killing people is what I do. It's what we did. I'm not writing this because I gave up on finding you or us being together again. I'm writing it so that when I do get you back, you'll see I care for you. Harmony, I know why you stuffed me in my own trunk and let the car go off into the river. I get it. You wanted to be in charge of how the kills went down sometime. I mean, you kept asking and nagging, and eventually I would have... Okay, maybe I wouldn't have. We both know I probably wouldn't have, but I think the sad attempt to kill me was an overreaction. Your own cute cry for attention. If you come back... I'll tell you all about how I got rid of Allie. She was awful to you when you were sick, accusing you of betraying her when she was the one who was a terrible friend to you. You always set apart if you die, but you were reborn into the killer I partner with any day. And yes, I'll be honest and admit that maybe I stashed Allie in a similar manner to what you fantasize about, but only as payback for you trying to get rid of me in that failed attempt of a tantrum. But it was also to show you that we are in this together. She's still alive and mostly well. So if you come back, you can make her pay for how she treated you. I'll stand back and just let you handle it however you wish. Let you be in charge of that kill that I know you've coveted for years now. Harmony, my love, you'd be happy to know I'm a mentor now. There are a few kids at the asylum I work at that need to know how to control their very natural inclinations. These could be our kids. They're like us. There are a couple of girls too who would really look up to someone like you. I mean, right now they just have a few one-offs mentioned on true crime docs and Harley Quinn, but my God, if they ever met you, you, Harmony, could show them your stealth, could show them how you maneuver and go so undetected, even though all eyes are always on you. That's what they need. They need to go undetected so that they don't end up in another asylum or worse. Could you imagine what people would do to them if they knew the type of kids they were? I mean, great kids, but so understood by the world. And who understands that better than you and I? Well, now I feel like I'm just rambling and I've said everything I hope I can say to your face soon if you ever... Well, I guess you do have something to say to me. I just saw on the local news that a woman was found at a gas station, dead and in her own trunk. They said they have no leads as to who did it, but it was nearby. I go to that gas station a lot on my way home from work, and I know you know that. My love, is this your way of sending me a message? Or is this just you wanting to play a game? You'll do anything to get my attention, won't you? Okay, I'll bite. 
Next kill is on me. If you want more stories to dive into, check out badalibibookbox.com to get a recently released thriller, short stories, mini mysteries, goodies, and so much more each month delivered to you. Use code PODCAST for 10% off your first purchase. Again, visit badalibibookbox.com.